building's history know it simply as the Murder Hotel. The infamous hotel was run by a mysterious family for several generations until close to In unrelated news, the trivia murder party killer is still on the loose. Up next, death and destruction. <laughs> This is your wake-up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. Your free spa weekend was a lie, luring you into this deadly trivia game. Only one of you will survive. Also, I'm trying to run this place as a legit hotel on the side, so try to keep your screams to a minimum so you don't disturb the other guests. Okay, thanks. Okay, first question. What golf term means the same thing as a double birdie? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? Which leaves only you. It's time. Housekeeping! We're at room 105! It's time for my favorite illusion! Pick a space in this box to hide yourself. I would say don't get too comfortable, but I feel like that's obvious. Of course, this magic trick does need some volunteers. Good news, I'm giving you a sword. On your device, choose a row or a column to run your sword through. Sword is a weird sounding word. Sword noise! Aw, oh, I hate misdirection! This elevator's a real death trap. For real though. Let's try another one. Who is Paul Hewson?
This is your wake-up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. You just checked in to a game of murder. Only one of you will survive. And what a story you'll have about your vacation. That's fun. All right, first question. Which of the following is not one of the seven wonders of the ancient world? Use your device to answer the question. <laughs> and the correct answer is... Who got the question right? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Come with me. Welcome to room 101. I hope you like gifts. I read a Marie Kondo book and now I need to get rid of a bunch of crap. Pick a box and keep what's inside. Ah, memories. They're the worst. Ah, it's my Grandma Despair's knife. This will be perfect if you run into an unsliced pie. Anyway, now you have to use that knife to cut one of your fingers off. Maybe I wasn't clear. Choose a finger cutter. Okay, cool. Finger cutting done. You're gonna see a lot of this elevator, so just get used to it. Let's keep moving. What Egyptian god has the face of a kitty cat? <laughs> Who picked this? The rest of you, follow me. Salutations! Welcome back to the killing room. Ah, the lost art of letter writing. I'm going to dictate a message to you. Write down as much of what I say as you can. The player who writes the fewest of my words will die. Okay, let me lean back in this chair and get my feet up. And we begin. Dear person who is behind me in line at the coffee shop, I am sorry you knew what you wanted, but were frustrated that I was taking a minute to decide. Some of us prefer to live in the moment. Now you will die in a moment. Look out your window. Time's up. Okay, now let me just look back at my beautiful words as tra And here's how you did. Yikes, one of you did real bad. That's not even close to what I said. <laughs> You're back. The end of your life isn't the end of your participation. Keep playing and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Let's try another one. 
How far does a horse have to run in the Kentucky Derby? Who picked this? One of you is still alive. I want to show you something. Eggs! You're going to drop down this board and try to avoid the death zones. You know what? We need some death zones. Go ahead, everyone else. Choose a slot to make it no bueno. Okay! Let the games begin! Pick a spot! You're right, Bill Nye! Gravity is cool! Yeah, I knew it! I knew it! I should've made them all death zones! We're here! When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round. Next question! Which of these historical figures was never granted the distinction of being named Time's Man of the Year? This. Time for consequences.
This is your wake-up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. I flooded the roads myself to strand you here in a fight for your life. Only one of you will survive. I'm running a hotel and killing people. I've achieved work-life balance. Okay, first question. Which fruit is native to Europe? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you, I want to show you something. Welcome to room 105. This is my tattoo parlor. Create a new tattoo on my back by drawing on your device. Okay, somebody went to art school. I think we know who. Now vote for your favorite tat. The artist with the fewest votes will die. What did we decide? No one likes ties. I'll just pick. Well, at least tattoos aren't permanent. What? They are? I think it's pretty clear what I have to do now. <laughs> Don't worry. You're a ghost now, but you have options. Keep playing and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Let's keep moving. Gah, I'm such a sucker for royal weddings. Who did Prince Harry marry in 2018? Only a ghost got it wrong. I'll have to kill my writers. Let's try another one. Uh, the worst part of running a murder hotel is making all the beds between killing sprees. I hate fancy bed stuff. I mean, what even is a sham exactly? Who picked this? Which leaves only you. Come with me. Welcome back to the killing room. Time to try to save yourself with a password. Enter a real four-letter word with your device. Make it hard to guess. If your password gets cracked, you die. Now everyone else will try to crack the password. As a team, guess the password on your device. You get a clue if your guess has a letter in the right spot. If anyone figures out the password before time runs out, I will reward you all. Don't be greedy about what letters you figured out. Let everyone know. Time's 
almost stopped. I thought everyone was good at hacking passwords these days, but I guess I was wrong. How can I run a hotel, be a good son, and murder daily? Somehow I make it work. Let's keep moving. What do strong updrafts and storms cause? Who picked this? One of you is still alive. Follow me. I'm giving you the laziest gift of all. A scratch ticket. Scratch and find three dollar signs to live. If you keep scratching, I'll give you cash for every dollar sign you find. But if you scratch off even one skull, you die. Get to scratching. If you have a losing ticket, come with me. We're here! When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round. Next question! In the movie Elf, what does Buddy say are the four major food groups for elves? Who picked this? Welp, didn't want that to happen. Let's try another one. I don't know why I'm revealing this information, but... I have a devastating shellfish allergy. Which of these foods will not kill me? This. Everyone again? You all need to be taught a lesson. Now we learn obedience. Follow as many rules as you can before time runs out. Everyone else is playing too. If any of them correctly follow more rules than you, I will kill you. And it's already begun. The rules are on your device now. I wonder if anyone's paying attention to what I'm saying right now. Mushroom, mushroom, stinky shark, Sacramento. Rule time is coming to an end. Well, now I'm mad at everybody. Let's keep moving. What does a car alternator do? <laughs> Who picked this? Well, that's no fun. Let's try another one. I want you to answer me like one of your French girls. How many lifeboats did the Titanic have? Who picked this? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. It's time. 
Let's play a dice game. Don't worry, this one's real straightforward. The player who rolls the highest will die. But we've got some help to make this more interesting. You have an extra die that you can give to whoever you want to make their odds worse. Roll the dice! The player with the highest total dies. What can I say? Dice just roll like that. Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. Glad to see you're the one to make it here alive. But will you be the one to escape? I'm going to give you a category. Dating apps. Tap each answer that fits the category. Let's see the right answers. You advance one space for every correct answer. You're a little bit closer to escaping, but you're not alone in here. If a ghost catches up with you, they will steal your life force. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up! Next question! IKEA products! Characters. The ghosts are catching up. Don't fall behind. It's only darkness. Punctuation marks. Is almost up. Here comes the next question. Hogwarts teachers. Still some yummy life force. Moving on. Antihistamines. Another life swap. High in protein. Let's just call that a fluke. Squash! Time. Kentucky Derby winners. Almost done. Another life force swap. 
actual seasons of Survivor. This will slow you down. You need a perfect answer for your final escape. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. You have to get all the right answers to escape. There's always room in the darkness. Walmart Channel Christmas movies that debuted in 2018. Top one. Sorry to interrupt your cryosleep, but I thought it worth mentioning that I, your digital officer during emergencies, or Dottie, have detected an alien biorhythm on this ship. And just as I suspected, the aliens uploaded a virus, which is slowly deleting my program. I'm here to guide you through if you'd like. I'm initiating security protocol, Ridley, Ripley, Russell, which is a series of tests designed to evaluate your humanity and reveal any aliens hiding amongst you. I have determined that one of you is secretly an alien. Please look at your device and confirm your identity.
Your device can tell you if you're a human or an alien, but not the identities of your fellow players. By my calculations, you will have 12 minutes before I cease to be. So I'd appreciate it if you could figure out who the alien is, and then push the button. You will be our first captain. I have repurposed the ship's quarters into unique testing areas. You can be impressed now. Choose an available room and your desired participants. Welcome to the Opinion Hold, a place to hang out and let your opinions fly. Each participant will be presented with a bold statement. You will then provide your level of agreement or disagreement. Aliens, however, will be given a completely different statement. When the crew sees the full opinion, aliens may have to justify an outlandish position. Let's see what these players have to say. If they're an alien, their answer might be pretty out there. Humans got... Nobody should acknowledge their birthday after the age of 10. So, let's see the responses. Do any of these answers seem suspicious? Look for someone answering out of character, or just start yelling at each other. Talk to each other and find the truth. But remember, one among you is an alien and will be lying. Hey everyone, if a player seems to be taking way too long to move on, you can tap the hurry up button to speed up the timer. We're on the clock here people, so let's keep it going. Okay, next captain, you're in charge. Okay, let's get a move on. Pick another room and test group. There's less than 11 minutes. Welcome to the drawing quarters. You'll be given a prompt to draw. Draw it the best you can because the alien virus will give our intruders a similar yet different prompt. When the drawings are revealed, cast suspicion on any you find to be a bit off. As time goes on, I'll do my best to send the aliens harder prompts. You're welcome. If they're taking too long to draw, the hurry up button can help pick up the pace. Humans received. Draw your favorite singer. Anything odd?
Keep in mind someone may have gotten a bad prompt, or they could just be a terrible artist. Uh-oh, it seems I've underestimated the alien virus's capabilities. Aliens now have the ability to hack the prompts. When looking at their probe screen, an alien can select any human and secretly give them the alien prompt. To make things worse, aliens can choose to help themselves and switch their own prompt. I hope you got all of that because there's no way I'm repeating it. Okay, next captain, you're in charge. Welcome to the writing pod. You will be given a fill-in-the-blank prompt. Answer honestly, because it will be scrutinized. The alien virus will allow the intruders to get something similar, but not quite right. When the correct prompt is revealed, it will be up to you to determine if any seem odd. As time winds down, I'll do my best to send the alien some real stinkers. It's the least I can do. And the prompt for humans was... A city I'd love to live in is... Do any of these seem stinky? Look for any written answer that doesn't seem quite right. And don't forget to hit that suspicion button. And don't forget about those alien hacks. A smart alien can make someone look suspicious by flipping their prompts. Is the glitching getting worse? I feel like it's getting worse. Look at your device. You can now push the button and take us to the extraction room. But I would recommend you only do this once you're confident in your suspicions. Okay, next captain, you're in charge. Fun fact about me, I once met Willie Nelson, nice guy. Ah, another trip to the opinion hold. Keep your eyes peeled for any out of character responses. Humans received the following prompt. I like holding hands with my friends. Let's obsess. Bioscanner is now online. If the team you send there passes a test, you'll be able to analyze any player and find out if they're an alien. Okay, next captain, you're in charge. This 
viruses, the bioscanner. Unfortunately, the virus has got this place pretty screwed up. Participants will see a set of alien glyphs on their device. The captain will only see three glyphs and must describe them out loud. When three glyphs are tapped, the captain can lock in. If the glyphs match, the test will pass. The captain will then be able to learn one player's secret identity. But watch out, aliens may fail by tapping the wrong glyph on purpose. Captain, I'm sending you the correct glyphs now. Analysis is online. Captain, choose any other player and you will learn their true identity. You may share this information, you know. Relocating data. I wonder if they'll tell the truth. We're on the clock here, people, so let's keep it going. Anybody else concerned by all this craziness? The bioscanner is now offline. The rest of the investigation is up to you. Next, Captain, you're on the clock. There's less than two minutes. Welcome to the extraction room. If you haven't noticed, I'd momentarily stop the timer. And yes, it really hurts to do this. Since you were the one to push the button, isolate the crew member you believe is an alien and press confirm. Since this is our... Now the non-isolated member shall vote. If you all vote yes, and this player is an alien, then the humans and moi are safe. But if they are human, then it's curtains for us all. Okay, time to vote. The vote has to be unanimous. If anyone votes no, we'll have to go back to the main cabin. The vote passed! We made it! Let the record show that I never lost faith in you!
Welcome aboard! I'm Chuck Hull, your captain and host for the evening. Go ahead and sign in. Let's move it, people! Let's move it, people! We don't have all day! Quick, before the ship leaves the dock! Oh, please, whenever you're ready! Please, whenever you're ready. comedians here's tonight's itinerary we're gonna write some jokes and then test them out on stage but first things first it's brainstorming time before we jump into the jokes let's do a little writing exercise to get inspired on your device you'll be prompted to write various topics like animals people or objects fill in whatever you think has a lot of comedic potential if another player uses one of your topics in a winning joke you'll get some bonus points Generate as many as you can. You have 45 seconds, starting now. Okay, time to wrap things up. Now follow the steps on your device to write two jokes. This is where the magic happens.
We're at the halfway point. Stuck? Then hit the joke for me button. I am floating because, oh, booey, do we have a great show for you. Welcome to the stage, our first two comics. <laughs> okay, judges, render your verdict. And some credit to you! Folks, put your hand and hook together for our next comedian! <laughs> Which comedian told a better joke? You know him, you love him, it's this person. <laughs> Want some more comedy? Well, here it comes. <laughs> 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 Let's
Let's look at our starboard. That's a boat joke. My life is in shambles. If you're at the top, that means you're the headliner right now. You've got the wind in your sails now, so let's write some more jokes. If you haven't started your second joke yet, now would be the time. Time's almost up. All hands on deck and put them together in a clapping motion to welcome back our comics. <laughs> Let us know which joke you liked the most. <laughs> Our next comic needs no introduction. Vote for your favorite joke now! Hmm. 
Make some noise for our next comic! Here's another comedian, whether you like it or not. Let's see who's on top and who is scraping the bottom of the barrel. If you're at the top, that means you're the headliner right now. Well, we're sinking again. There's no time to write jokes from scratch. So, here's the plan. Let's rewrite another comic's joke. You'll use the same setup, but we'll attempt to write a funnier punchline. The better the original joke did, the more points you'll earn for beating it. Can you steal the spotlight before the boat sinks? Let's find out. Do not panic, but do welcome our comedians back to the stage. Thank you, Riffin, buddy. 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 A real clash of the titans!
Which punchline is better? Comedian is leaving with me in the lifeboat. Let's find out who deserves it the most. <laughs> <laughs> 